going to show you how to do the background of these dragon eggs using nail powder holographic glitters. These are the types of glitters I use to make my dragon egg and I'll show you the difference between these and some other ones. The dragon egg that I did, I used this type of, it's more of a flake type glitter than a individual pieces. You can see there's little pieces of flakes in there. They're not all the same size. Like there's, I don't know if you can see that there. So anyway, when these um, attach to your rock there, um, it just creates a different effect. And I can screw this back on. Uh, so again, here's some nice flaky bits in here. And they just create such a lovely effect. This brand here is called Full Beauty Nail Pigment. And they're all, they all have the same type. They're more of a, a flaky holographic type powder. So those are those types. The other glitters that I've been using create more of this effect where you can almost see the little individual pieces of glitter in there. Um, there's another one. This gives an amazing illusion. So those ones are these types of glitter where they're a little more chunky. That's the green there. And although it's fine, it has a little bigger pieces of glitter. So those I rub into the rock. This green is this one here. And uh, this one is this one. La bronze. I got the this one and this one from the pink chair in Canada, pink chair boutique. And you know, not too expensive for a big jar like that. This one goes a really long way and is such a beautiful effect. It has like a blue and a, a red in there. And the other ones I have are more of a fine, um, more of a shimmery look. Um, just don't want this to explode all over the place because it really is quite fine. So this one is more of a, like a very fine dust. So when you see it on there, it, it really is more like an eyeshadow. You can see that. And in fact, some artists have used eyeshadows in their resins. So that's more of an eyeshadow consistency powder. Uh, this one is fine, but almost borderlines chunky. But, but very fine as well. So the coverage is different. Hard to figure out what you're buying online, but um, let's see this one. Yeah, that one is really pretty. So that's a, a very fine nail powder, and that gives a very neat holographic effect. So there's lots out there. I got this little palette initially. Um, it had th these are all fine, um, very gold. This silver is really pretty for this time of the year. And, and oh, and then there's one other set, these ones, which um, I'll show you in another little segment here. So these 
although they kind of look the same initially when you see them all out like this. Let's get some room here. Okay, so they all sort of look the same, but in, in certain angles, when it's on your surface, you'll get a little bit of a different tone. So these you can rub into your rock just to get a little bit of a very soft shimmer. Um, and whatever surface you paint it on, or put it on, like the color, will change the effect too. So if I was to paint something red, I would probably put a little bit of this shimmered on it to just enhance it a little bit. Um, if I was to put this on a white rock, it would just very, give a very subtle pearly look. Anyway, hope that helps. Here's the process I use for a lighter rock with the very fine powders that I was talking about. Um, so here's a white rock. I just want to give it a little enhancement um, so I put resin on this about eight hours ago um, and now you can hear it's tacky um, it's not leaving resin on my glove so that's sort of the the perfect uh, consistency I like to put the resin on or the uh, powder pardon me so I'm just going to dab on a little now you can use these applicators and just rub it in like that. Just spread it around. Now you can see I've got a sort of a pearlescent look. I probably put a little bit more than I needed on this, but That's the way it goes. So there we go. I've got it everywhere that I want it now. And then you can also use your finger or a gloved finger and just really massage it now into your stone. And the more you do that, uh, you'll start to see it become a little uh, smoother, shinier you're actually just sort of pressing it into that um, tacky resin. Um, you can see there my glove left a little bit of a mark um, so that shows you that the, the resin is still pretty soft. Um, when I do my image on top of this uh, I will be resining again so if I do happen to leave little marks like this it'll it'll get filled in um, with another coat of resin. Okay, so there we go. And you see it has a sort of a beautiful pearlescent look. That spot's a little stickier. <laughs> and here's the process um, that I did to create my speckly dragon eggs, or dinosaur eggs, or whatever you imagine them to be. Um, this is the flaky type of powder like this. It has the different holographic looking bits of powder or um, yeah, nail powder. So what I, anyway, <laughs> what I do is I'm not putting it all in one spot. I kind of wanted it to be somewhat random. So there's some of that pinky, some pinky orangey bits, and uh, I'm gonna do some little blue bit, bluey green bits in here. I know like some of this will be painted over, but I'm just gonna pretend that I'm not at this moment I don't know what's going to get painted so you just go for it wherever wherever you feel like you want to put a little blob of color so let's just start with that and see where this takes us 
So this is a tacky rock, like I was explaining before. Probably could have let it dry a little bit more, but I have to make dinner here soon, so. You get the idea. And then we just keep adding to it. You know, if you want to stick with just two tones, you can. The whole kitchen sink, if you like. <laughs> this big flake fell off there. And just push that in. So that one is neat because it left, left a little chunk there. I like that. I mean, if you look like look at eggs in the wild, like the some of them are speckly and it looks really neat. This process works better if the rock <clears throat> is a little darker, so you have a bit of background color. Um, I have been known to pre-paint a rock black, or you could pre-paint -pre it like a blue, so when you do this, some of the other colors will poke through. Yeah, this one was a little stickier than my last one. That's why I have gloves on. So what do you think? I think it's looking pretty good. I'm just gonna get a little bit more on the sides. And we'll carry on here in just a moment. Okay, here's another one I just finished. And you can see how beautiful that is. Done as well. Yes, still very sticky. So you want to let these to finish curing. Just put them aside somewhere. Um, this is a, a rubber or a, a plastic mat that I just buy these in sheets. So this is my sparkle mat. Uh, so I'm going to show you um, one other one here. Oh, it's a sticky one. Um, if I showed you this earlier, um, I'm going to do kind of the same process, but with a different type of sparkle. I did a, oops. I did a um, couple Northern light type tree scenes with these kind of backgrounds, so I thought they were really cool. No right or wrong place to put these, just plop it on and start pushing it, pushing it into the resin. And you can just blur them into each other a little bit so that you don't have a sharp, sharp line. Unless you want that. All depends on what you're imagining. So, yeah, there we go. <laughs> yeah, just a little too sticky here. There we go, but you can get the idea. So it's not one solid um, uh, effect like this one, it's all one color. It, it has a bunch of different ones in there. So you can just have fun with it. Uh, so I think that's all I have to show you. Um, 
If you are wanting to recreate my dragon eyes, uh, all you do is um, let's see. I've got I've got one here that I've been, just started, and now this isn't using sparkles, but um, this is a natural egg, and you just do the black, do your little squiggly lines. Um, I put white here um, because I'm going to do a light colored eye and it's just easier with a white background. So we'll see what happens with that one. But that's just a natural rock off of our BC coast here in Canada. And uh, it should be interesting to see what happens with that one. Anyway, I hope you like my video. Um, if you do, I appreciate if you subscribe and like and uh, help motivate me to keep doing more for you. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.